Hey what is up everyone welcome back to a new video on the channel so in today's video we are gonna take a look at how you can start your very own VIX vlog using VIX and this is gonna be a beginner friendly tutorial so if this is your first time using VIX and you just want a quick tutorial on how you can start your vlog using VIX this is gonna be the video for you and if you've never seen my channel before I am who is Bobbin or Gist Erickson and what I do is I upload videos on VIX, website design, how to make money online and anything else that you might find interesting. So if you want more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also like the video. But that is gonna be it for now. So let's just jump into the tutorial and hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, so the very first step is gonna be to click the top link in the description to get to the VIX page where you can start building your VIX website. Uh, when you get on the page, all you have to do is click on start now uh, once you have clicked start now you're gonna have to create your account and once you have created your account you will come to a page that looks like this since I already had a account on Wix I don't have to create an account but if you don't have an account yet just create an account is real quick I even think you can log in with your Facebook so it makes it super easy but once you get on this page Wix is gonna ask you what kind of website you want to build and obviously we're trying to build a blog uh, so what we want to click on is blog. It doesn't really matter what you pick here. Uh, it's just going to base the designs based on whatever you pick. So if you pick fitness, you're going to get websites or blogs that looks uh, more similar to fitness just to make it easier but you can always pick something from fitness and then create it into your blog if you like the fitness theme a lot better uh, but what we're gonna do is just click on blog directly and instead of using the ADI so what the difference here really is is that the VIX ADI will create a website for you based on a few simple questions that you answer. I don't really like this layout because you don't really have a lot of options to, to customize it. So I prefer just going with choosing your own template directly. But if you feel like you want to do the VIX EDI, go ahead and try it. But I don't really recommend it at all. But we're going to go choose a template. And what we can see right here is all the different templates we get to pick from to use for our blog. And now it's really up to you uh, what you're gonna do. I feel like I wanna do food and travel for this blog just as a test. But as you see, you have personal blog, food and travel, news and business, arts, fashion, sports and wellness. Uh, so there's a lot of different themes you can choose from. But I'm gonna go ahead and do food and travel and I'm gonna go travel blog, this one right here. If you hover over these themes, you can also press view in order to preview the theme before you actually pick whatever theme you want. So this is how this theme looks. Uh, I like the layout. I like the blog feed right here. Uh, I can also preview it on mobile by clicking on the mobile preview up in the corner. Uh, and this is how the website itself is gonna look on mobile. Even that looks super good. So I've decided I want to use this theme. What do I do? <laughs> it's not super hard. Uh, you click on edit this site up in the corner. Once you've clicked edit this site up in the corner, you will be taken directly to the VIX editor. And once you are in the VIX editor, it's gonna look just like this. What you wanna do here is just either watch this one if you want the introduction. Uh, but since you're watching this video, you probably don't need introduction, so you can just close this one down. As you can see, there's a lot of different tools uh, in this editor. So you have both on the right and on the left. Uh, you also have the top right here. You have your publish, your preview, and your save. And then you have your website in the middle. So all these elements on your website, if you hover over them, you can see that you can edit every single element on the website. Uh, so let's say we want to change the top banner at the top. What we do is just click on this image and you'll see the small menu showing up right here. And then you can do either change strip background or change the layout. What we're going to do is just change the strip background and then you'll see this little menu right here. So this menu, you can either change the color. So if you just want it to be a color at the top, you can go ahead and click color. If you want it to be a video, you can pick a video. Or if you want an image, you can do an image. I feel like we're going to do an image. So let's click image here. You can either upload your own media, so your own photos, your own videos, or you can go ahead and go media from VIX. This is going to be free images that VIX is providing that you can use for your website. But if you don't find any high quality image pr provided by VIX themselves, you can also go to Shutterstock. Uh, these are going to be paid for images. 
which definitely are going to be higher quality, but you have to pay for them, which unfortunately uh, can cost a lot depending on what kind of image you want. But normally you can find pretty good images on here. And you also have Unsplash, which also going to be uh, free images, but even these images can be very low quality. If you're lucky, you can find some high quality images here as well. We're going to use Unsplash for this one and we're just going to search for travel. Now let's see what shows up. Okay, I really like this image right here. Uh, it looks super good for a travel blog, even this one. And I might even go for this one. So let's just click it and then click on change background. Once you have changed your background, it's going to look like this. And what you can do is go into settings. And in settings, you can add an effect to your top banner. So you can do it parallax, you can do reveal, you can do zoom in, or you can do fade in. I'm gonna do parallax for this one. And what that is gonna do is when people go on the website, it's gonna scroll with the actual user. So if we go and click preview, we can see how it looks. So the image itself is gonna have a moving effect to it, which is just gonna add a little bit of uh, movement to the website, which look, makes it look a lot better. But we're gonna go back into the editor. And once we're back into the editor, let's say we want to change our title at the top. What I can do is just click on the text, click edit, and then just type whatever you want. So I'm gonna do who is Bob on blog, travel blog, who is Bob on blog. Uh, and even here, you can edit this text as well. Check out my YouTube channel for more. So that is gonna be my text. It looks super good. Uh, what you can do as well when you edit the text is that you can change the font, you can change the color, you can make it bold, uh, you can make it italic underline it, uh, center it. You have all these different options within each and every element of the website. And obviously we're not gonna have enough time to walk through every element, but it's super simple and straightforward once you get used to it. The learning curve can be a quite steep to, uh, depending on how technical you are. Uh, but once you get used to using Wix, it's gonna be super easy for you to edit your website super fast. Okay, scrolling down, we have our different categories. So we have travel, eat and relax. Even these images are gonna be the same thing. You go ahead, you click on the element, you can change the image, or if you wanna change the category itself, you can see that this is gonna be a button element. Just click on it, and you can link it to somewhere else or you can change the text. So if I want this to link to my YouTube channel, I could do YouTube, and then I can change the image right here, and we're gonna to go to Unsplash, search for YouTube, find a fitting image like this one, click choose image and it's gonna be right there. So if I wanna change this button to link to my YouTube channel, what I would do is web address, find my link to my channel right here, copy the link, go back, paste the link, and we want it in a new window. And then we click done. And now when people click on this button, take those people directly to my YouTube channel. Keep going down uh, here as well, uh, featured in, I'm not gonna be featured anywhere, uh, but what you can do is just same thing. Uh, if you want to remove this strip, cause you're not, you haven't really been featured in anything or you just don't want this element, uh, all you can do is just right click and delete or you can just click delete directly on your dashboard. So now that part is gonna be gone. And if you want to move up this, so it's, it's not that huge gap with wide, all you can do is just drag this element and it's gonna drag everything underneath it up as well. So everything is gonna just go along with the flow. Okay, so now we walked through how you can edit your elements on your start page. Uh, if you want to add more elements to your page, you're gonna have all these options on the side. So menus and pages, are where you can see all the pages on your website. This are the pages that you can see up in the menu as well. And if you want to have a page that people are not able to see in the menu, what you can do is click on the three dots and hide this page. And what that is gonna do is just hide it from the main menu at the top. And this can be good if you have a page that's not ready yet, or you just don't want people to access it that way. You can just hide it directly from the main menu. So the About Me page, let's just do it as a test. Let's hide it. And as you can see in the menu at the top, it's now gone. But we actually wanna show this page. So we're gonna go back and click show and it's gonna be back at the top again. Uh, within the pages settings, you have more options as well. So you can add new pages or you can just go ahead and change your settings for the page. You can set a password on it. You can change your SEO for Google. Uh, you can rename the page. 
you can copy, you can duplicate it, you can also do it to a sub page. And if you want to do it to the sub page, what you can also do is just drag it and drag it underneath another page. And what that is going to do is change it in the menu. So if we do preview and hover over travel, you're going to have eat as well. Uh, and this can be a good thing if you want to sub page uh, your pages, but we're going to go ahead and drag it back on to the top. Then you also have blog pages. Under blog pages, you're going to have your posts and your blog. Uh, same thing here as well. You can have your settings and also change for Google. You can rename the page or just delete it. Page transitions is not super needed. Uh, so what you can do right here is just click none. What this is going to do is increase the website speed because having these effects are going to just drag down the speed of your website. Okay, next we have the overall uh, background of the whole website. So if I click something right here, you can change the, see that the whole website is going to change. It doesn't look super good. So we're gonna go back to color and just add it to white. Then you're gonna have the plus right here. And what that is gonna be is all the elements you can add to your pages. And if you wanna go back to a page, you have the banner at the top. Let's say we want to go back to the home page, just click on home. And right here we have our home page. So if we want to add, let's say, this woman right here, we would just click it and drag it wherever we want it on the website. So if I wanna read right here, I want it to be a bit smaller and I want to put it right here, uh, that's how you would do it. Then I'm going to delete this because I don't want it, so just delete. It's going to be gone. Uh, you can do the same thing with all these different elements. You have video, music, social, contact forms, uh, menu, lightbox, content manager, so much more. If you keep going, you're going to have the VIX app market. In the VIX app market, you can add features that are not uh, originally within VIX, and this is going to be third party or apps made directly by VIX. This is gonna be super good if you wanna add some special feature that VIX doesn't offer. Uh, you can just search within the app and then click on add. So just to give you an example, let's say I want to add my Instagram feed. I can just search Instagram. Uh, and you can see this app is made by VIX and I want to add this, just click add. Once I've clicked add, you can see this whole element on the website. And you can see this is not your Instagram feed, right? Uh, so what you're gonna to have to do is go to settings, then you're gonna to have to connect your Instagram account so you can show your images. And then you can just change the overall layout of this element. So you can change it to a slider, collage, how many images you want to show, how many rows you want, and how much spacing you want between the images. You also have more settings, so you can change it to your language. You can turn off the show more button uh, or keep it on. You can also display on hover, full screen. You can change the design. So there's a lot of features within every element within Wix. But this Instagram feed, we don't want it, so we're gonna delete it as well. And as you can see, we have a huge gap once again. So all we have to do is just drag all the content back up to the top, all the way up, and there we go. There's no change to the website. We're gonna go to media. So under media, you can just add your own photos or as again, you can add your images from VIX, free images from VIX or Shutterstock or just upload your very own images directly. Then right here, we're gonna have our blog manager. So in your blog manager, you can either create a, po uh, create a new post or you can manage your old posts. So what we are gonna do is create a new post. Once you're in the post creator, this is gonna where you're writing your blog post. So new YouTube channel is gonna be my title. And then just fill it out with your content as you would usually do. So hello. Dun, 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 dun. And then let's copy this just to add some content on it. Just like this. Then you can see the plus sign right here. So let's say you want to add a video in the middle of the blog post. This is how you would do it. You can go to my media, media from VIX. And let's say we want to add this one right here. Now you're going to have an image within your blog. And then you can just keep writing your content down below. You can add your titles. So if I wanted to create this one into a title, yeah, I can just change it right here. So now it is a title. And then I can continue writing the text down below. Let's change this back to a text. So now it's just gonna be text. Uh, check out this. And then you can write your content once again. You can add GIFs, you can add code. Uh, you can basically add anything you want within your blog post. Once you're finished with your blog post, you wanna make sure that in settings, you have a cover photo uh, that you want to show up in your blog feed. You can publish it now or uh, publish it later. 
You can also change who wrote it. So if you don't want your own name, you can change it to someone else's name. You can also add this, which is gonna be a preview uh, in your blog feed. Uh, you can also do your SEO. So the URL uh, for the actual blog post, you can change the title, which is gonna show up in search in Google. You can also add your description. Uh, so this is, <laughs> this is basically a preview on how it's gonna look in Google. So if I change this right here, my new blog post, this is how the title is gonna look within the Google search. And hello, please read my blog. And that is description, how it's gonna look within Google. Also have your category. So if you wanna make sure you're putting it in the right category, you do it here. So you can do eat, travel, relax, or you can just add your new categories. And you can also remove uh, these categories when you want or add new categories. So if you import a theme and the theme doesn't have the categories you want, don't worry, you can change the categories however you like. Okay, let's say our blog post is done. We're gonna click publish. And that is gonna be our not new blog post. And when you import a theme, you're gonna have old blog posts that are just standard. What you can do is just go ahead and delete these, so move them to trash. That's just gonna remove them all from your website and you're never gonna see them again. Now when we have edited our website, we have changed the layout, we have created our first blog post, we want to make sure uh, that our website looks good. We can just go into preview mode, look at our, how our website looks. Let's go to the homepage, looks beautiful. Uh, we changed everything. Uh, and obviously we wanna spend a lot of time changing everything so it looks like you want it to. Uh, but once you're done with your website, what you wanna do is just go back to your editor. You can publish it. And as you can see right here, we're not gonna have a, a domain right now. So what's gonna happen is that we want to make sure uh, that we upgrade our package. So if we go to upgrade right here, and then we go to compare plans, we're gonna be able to see the different packages for your website. So what I would recommend you to do for your blog is definitely get the combo package. So the combo package is gonna give you a domain, so you can have, let's say, whoisbobbin.com as your blog name, instead of having whoisbobbin.vixsite.com. It's gonna make it a lot more professional, and also make it a lot easier to visit your website because a lot of people are not gonna do whoisbobbin.vixsite.com. It's just too complicated to write. So it's uh, super good that you get a free domain with your purchase. And it's also gonna be six pounds a month. And what's included in this as well is that you're gonna remove all the Vix ads on your website, which is gonna make it look super professional compared to having Vix ads on your website. Once you have bought this package, you will be able to pick your domain connect it and then publish your website and it's gonna be up on your new domain. And there you go, your website is live. That is gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe. Also feel free to comment if you have any questions. I usually answer as many questions as I can. And if you want me to cover any special ideas, just comment it down below. I'll make sure to make a video on that as well. Uh, but that is gonna be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.